the one and only Bronny James plans to enter the transfer portal. Now, nothing has been confirmed quite yet, and they had to ask King James about the situation. Um, well, I don't know where it came from. But at the end of the day, Bronny's his own man. He has some tough decisions to make. Yeah. And uh, when he's ready to make those decisions, he'll let us all know. But as his family, we will support whatever he does. Um, Boom. Pretty simple. 13 second clip. That's what I was talking about yesterday, man. That quote right there. His tone's changing. His tone. I was be so. You don't want to play with him anymore, man. I'd be critical of my king, man. I I feel the same way. Well, let me go first. Listen, LeBron. That's what you got from that? LeBron. Come on, man. That's my guy. That, That right there is my guy. LeBron, no. No. Uh, Shouts out to Carmelo Anthony. When we saw Carmelo talk about, you know, kids skipping the process and all that, Bron's been signaling since Bronny was a junior. Yeah, I want to play with my son in the league, and we're going to play here, this, that, and the third. And there, it sound very, hey, I have his steps in order. All the movements seem like I have his steps in order. This is what we're going to do. We're going to do this, 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 this. But now situations have changed, circumstances are different, and it doesn't seem like things will go the way that the James family has seen it to go. Even these last couple years as a whole for L.A., like his time in L.A., things aren't going the way that he thought it would go. And so now his tone is changing. He used to he used to be pretty certain about what's going on with Bronny. But now all of a sudden, hey, man, Bronny's got to make tough decisions, which is the right way to parent. Hey, at some point, that boy is 18. Yeah. He got to make some business decisions. I'm not going to be here. And he's going to, he's living a different life than I'm living. He's not LeBron James. He's LeBron James Jr. type shit. But yeah, nah, I don't know what he's doing. Bron, that plan didn't go the way y'all wanted it to. And y'all tried to skip the process. I, that's that's what it seemed like to me. Oh, I mean, to me personally, I got that Bron didn't know that Bronny was entering the transfer portal. I mean, maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I'm ca- throwing bail or caping for my goat. But when I heard that, to me, it looked like he was like, shit, uh, he'll, let all, he'll let all of us know. He's his own man. He's going to make his own decision. That sounded like, to me, when we found out Bronny was transferring, Bron found out that nigga's not entering the draft. Bron found out that that nigga's going somewhere else. Bron found out that, oh, yeah, I'm not playing with my son. That's what it, that's what it sounded like to me. Sound like he, hey, Black Souls, sound like he was surprised to me. I do agree. It seemed like he had a plan for Bronny in line this entire time. And Bronny now saying he's hitting the transfer portal. I don't know if y'all been seeing his Twitter, but he's been dropping pictures of him in like different college jerseys. Uh, Him doing that, that seems to me to be a son. And I know, and I'm speaking from a, a son that had a dad who wanted to paint a fucking path. But I jumped off the bitch. It seems like Bronny is like, nah, Pop, I got this. I'm going to do this my way. Maybe to me, may, maybe I'm shooting Bronny too much, Bell. That's not his Twitter, Damo. All right, well. I'm going to just say this before y'all start because I see a 2v1 in, in place. <laughs> me personally, me personally, <laughs> I think that very last sentence is what happened. I think them niggas had a conversation. Bron had everything set in stone. Bronny, like, I want to do shit my way. Bron like, I will shit. <laughs> I, I think that's what went down. Um, now I don't know how we reach either any of these destinations, but I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all two be one real quick. I just I think I need to pocket wash this this mini pod because Damo, how much did LeBron pay you, bro? He's part of clutch media. This is crazy. What? Because I think <sighs> that Bronny said, nah, fuck that, I'm gonna do my own thing. That, yeah, man. That, Stop that LeBron so Bell, man. You yeah. threw him LeBron Bell. It's you said LeBron you threw LeBron Bell. Bell. Oh, my God. I said, I said am, is, is this throwing LeBron Bell? I said, maybe, if it is, then let me know. It's throwing LeBron it Bell is. to say. It is. We're letting you know. How yes, was the bell? How was the bell? Let me know. How was the bell? Come on, bro. You think he, you, he for real. Be, be, be honest. Be honest. What's real doesn't have to be explained. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm explaining it. You think that LeBron and LeBron James Jr., didn't have a conversation about him entering the transfer portal. Me personally, 
I don't think so. But I can definitely agree with Sage. I mean, I can definitely hear out a situation where they did have a convo and he let him know, yeah, Pop, I'm not doing that. But I don't think Bronny told his dad what he was about to do. I think Bronny said, fuck that. So you 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 drive in my car. You on my cell phone playing. You wearing my sneakers. You signed to you signed to different NIL deals because of me. You live in my house. You doing all that's my car. I pay that credit card. I do all these things. And you're telling me that he did not have to tell his daddy. Mind you, big huge decision in his life. Huge decision in his life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You telling me he didn't have to tell his dad. Hey, this is what I'm. Who, Demo, what? Demo, what? Are you? <laughs> what? Come, okay. what? Come on, bro. Come okay. On. Here we go. Here we go. You, you were into the. Let me ask you this. No bullshit. You were into the transfer portal and not talk to your parents. Me personally. <laughs> you want me to say? I'm gonna say. You want me to tell you the truth? Or you want me to lie to you. Like you no, want me to? No. Tell. Tell the god honest truth. I will tell you the absolute truth. Me personally, with how I was raised. I probably would make the decision before I told anybody. Yes, I probably would. And let me be super honest with you. You're talking about, oh, you're driving my car on my cell phone plan on my insurance. How many rich people, kids, how many powerful people, kids, do we not see on a routine basis every other chance? Make dick de- dickhead fucking rebellion decisions. Fuck Whether it's dick or school. She duty. How many times have we that is a normal thing with any young adult, any older teen. Them niggas make brash, rash decisions because they want to run their life. They feel like they have a bit of they, they feel like grown. Bronny has been out of the house. I doubt that nigga lives in the same. I doubt he lives at home. He does not live at home anymore. Bronny's been out the house for a year. Nigga said, "Yeah, he." Think? What do you think? He, what do you? He think? got a condo using daddy's money. Come on, bro. Come on. Well, I, I, I guess. I, guess. <laughs> I, think got, I think he got a condo. I think he got a condo using his own money because when that nigga was in oh, high school, he was phase there. money, he phase was, Bronny yes, money, phase Bronny money. Yes. <laughs> no, and then he stopped. Are we gonna act like? Are we gonna not gonna act like? The whole reason Aiden Ross didn't get that huge ass boost and push was not because of the fact he was playing the game with Bronny James at a certain point in time. Is that no. not the thing that turned him up? Yes, it was. Why are we lying? Now we're rewriting history about YouTube. This is crazy. That was the thing that turned him up. He took that next level play. It was, with Bronny. it was, it was, it was. And Bronny, dead ass, because Bron, who said it himself, he's not letting his kids get on social media until they're a bit older. Bronny, by the time he turned, what, 16? That's when he was unleashed to the world of doing his own thing. That nigga was getting money before. Bronny is not some, so he, he's definitely a nepotism child. I'm not going to say he's not a nepotism child. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. Dom on Windhorse, bro. This is crazy. I like this nigga don't got no, like, no money for himself at all. I thought the nigga had a condo by the, by, by the campus. I thought the nigga was on no. the campus. He's staying. He's staying with it. He's staying with a teammate because he, he's playing ball on the team. So he's staying with it. He's staying with a teammate. Like he's still like a college kid. What I'm saying to you though is, during the summertime, he doesn't. He's not staying on campus, Domo. Before we move forward with the rest of the podcast, we want to shout out the sponsors of this podcast, Prize Picks, our personal favorite way to play daily fantasy sports. The game is very simple. All you got to do is download their app, go on their website. They got a bunch of different sports up top with a bunch of different statistics. And if you know ball for real, you can win some money. Let's go ahead and make some picks today. The Lakers are facing the Sacramento Kings. Damo, do you think Austin Reese can get more or less than 24 and a half points, rebounds, plus assists? This is a big game for us. We need this dub. Give me the more. School Henderson facing the Atlanta Hawks. Do you think School Henderson can get more or less than four and a half assists? Um, I'm the biggest Scoot hater in the land. He's gonna forget his guys at home. Let me get the less. We'll go ahead and put ten dollars on this entry. Place entry, and boom. That is how you make an entry. And if you guys use code LKIB, you guys can get up to 100% match on your first deposit up to $100. So if you put in 20, they'll give you 20. Now you got $40 to work with up to $100. Links to everything will be in the description. And shout out to Prize Picks for sponsoring this video. He's staying with his dad. Is he? <sighs> is he? Is he? Where do you think he's at at Taco Tuesday, bro? Okay, that's Taco Tuesday night, and everything <laughs> goes after that. Because all, all, all I know is to the club and back home. Is, yeah, all I know is 
when I watch when I watch Keeping Up with the Balls, balls. When them niggas got out the house the first time, they didn't come back. They were done. Lonzo, Lonzo, Lonzo went to UCLA. He was on college campus in the summertime. He had his own spot because they had their own money. He didn't go back home in the summer when he got Damn. drafted. No, that wasn't the thing. It was out the house. Lamelo, 16 years old. Dog in Lithuania, nigga. You're right. He's LeVar Ball. Man. Fuck is we talking about? He was LeVar Ball. <laughs> Put respect on his name, nigga. Who was warning them? Type shit. <laughs> But no, all just aside, I, I genuinely think in this situation, Bronny made a Bronny decision. Just like the He's decision Miles Morales. To, just like the decision Hell to go about yeah. Bronny James instead of LeBron Jr. Bronny said that. Young kid. Fuck he can't, that. He can't, even, he can't I, I even, my name. No, no, no. Stop. He can't even really enter the transfer portal without letting people know because of obligations. You think he can't just, hey, yo, Nike, I'm, a, I'm about to enter the transfer portal. Oh, okay. I mean, if that's what y'all want to do, that's cool. Uh, we got to make sure just to remind you, hey, you can't go to certain schools because you got a Nike deal. And this would be the conflict of interest if you did go here. Or you got this deal and there's a conflict of interest over here. This deal, you can't go over here. He can't just... If you if you think that I'm supposed to think that LeBron James Jr. Come on, dog. I, a big life decision like that is just... Hey, Pop, um, I know you funded my life, and I'm working out with Phil Handy this summer because you you also did that. Um, and I'm about to take the, you know, the 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 Ashton Martin to practice and this, that, and the third. You know, the one that you bought and stuff like that. Um, you might hear some news. Oh, you already heard the news. Oh, you heard it post-game. Uh, I was going to tell you. You think that I think that he didn't tell that nigga before or even hinted I to it? Hey, pop, I personally what think, about transfer type shit? I personally think you are doing a lot of crazy assuming for some niggas' lives you're just not a part of. I don't, I mean, when we get to the point, when we get to the point of just assuming how LeBron parents his household, because I ain't going to lie to you, I ain't going to lie to you. When I heard Will and Jada Smith, like way back when, say, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. At 13, my kids are adults. They make their own decisions. We let them do whatever the fuck they want. I was like, yo, these rich niggas do shit different. And at that point, I never thought, oh yeah, they have a normal sense of fucking being parented and being raised. Never again. Never. I was 13, 14 when I heard that. I was like, yeah, rich people. I when I went in Beverly Hills in a four story fucking uh 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 a building for a Christmas love this party story. Hosted, hosted by Tyler the Creator. When I was there and I was seeing how rich kids' parents was interacting with them versus how my dad was interacting with me, I was like, oh, you niggas just grow up different. When we were upstairs, the niggas talking about we bored, what we trying to do. Instead of niggas whipping out the sticks to play the game, instead of doing dumb shit that teenagers do, oh, let's go do some rich kid shit. It's it's a difference. It is a difference. It, it is a different lifestyle that I, I, I didn't... I just assume that niggas would understand, but I guess... Niggas just don't know. Me personally, I think to a certain point in Bronny's life, LeBron was definitely hands-on. And at a certain point, LeBron, because he understands, hey, for this nigga to be a functioning adult, he has to be able to start making his own decisions. Hence, hence, when this nigga, week one of him getting social media, he's smoking a blunt on fucking Snapchat. I don't, like, that doesn't seem like a kid who's just, being like walk baby walk every day. Nigga got a bit of freedom. Nigga took a gave him a rope. Want to be a cowboy. Nigga was seeing how far he could get with shit. They had a talk. He reeled it in a little bit. But I've always got the sense of when it came to Bronny, Bronny is making a lot of Bronny decisions more than you think. I genuinely think if Bronny did have to talk to people, he would talk to his people or people who was over him. Now, if you can pull it up, which you have the ability to do. Clutch sports? Who's on, who, <laughs> clutch fucking sports. Man, <laughs> who's, his man, who's his manager? Is Rich, Rich Paul. Paul. Yo, is it actually Rich Paul? Is it actually Rich Paul? Get out of here, nigga. Get out of here. Stinky. I would just like to think. I would just like Wait, to ask. Is your explanation actually, also an assumption of LeBron's is parenting? Actually, is it Thank actually Rich Paul? Yes. Yes. Even if it is Rich, and, and cool, is Rich Paul. So you know what he did? Hey, Rich, look, this is what I'm thinking about doing. And you know what Rich did? You know what Rich did? He took off his, oh, this is my brother's, this is my guy's son, to, oh, this is my fucking client. And he, with no, Rich Paul, you right there, 
You think that's what Rich did? He said, yo, yo, Braun, I got some news for you. Hold on. Hold on. I think Rich Paul had an honest to God conversation with Bronny about what Bronny wanted to do. He gave him the best advice he could give, gave his input, probably even sat on the phone and said, Hey, I know your dad. We was, I think, which, I think your dad would say, I promise you, he probably had that conversation. But at the end of the day, I think Bronny and Rich Paul had that convo. And Bronny said, Hey, my decision is my decision. This is what I'm going to do. And he let his dad know. I do think that's about, I, I can see that happening. I think Rich got on the phone right after he hung up. Hey, Bronny, you're not going to believe this shit. I don't know if you talked to your son. When's I talk to Bronny? What? <laughs> Has he been over the last Taco Tuesday? Did he tell you what he's doing? What? Get this. This is and so then Bronny crazy. Found out. <laughs> Is that crazy? That's crazy. Dumb, dumb, I, I would crazy? love to give you a round of applause. Hey, nah, that ass. Hold on. I would love to give you a round of applause because this is the greatest story you have come up with since what? Megan Tory happened, bro. Hey, this hypothetical you? ass story <laughs> in your mind that you are making up that you don't know happened is insane, first bro. First of all, first of all, no, 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 no. In all actuality, I was fucking right. What I said didn't happen. They got into a fight in the car and had a fight over the gun. Go back and watch the clip. That's exactly what the fuck I said happened. Word mm. for word, bar for bar. I said, you know what probably happened? Meg, Bigfoot ass. She like 6'5". Tori only 5'2". They probably got into a scruffle tuffle, scuffle in the back of the shit. Her friend jumped in to help because it's her friend now with the facts. She was more on Tory's side, so they jumped her, but yep, a gun got involved. Long. Niggas niggas got the scuffling for the gun and it went off. And they don't want to admit who did it. That's why residues on everybody, or he got it, she got it, they got it. I said that then. Go Wait, check that's the wrong. Back. That's still wrong, though. That's still wrong. That's not what happened. They didn't well, well. The gun didn't go. <laughs> that that that's not what happened, dog. There was no scuffle in the back. There was no scuffle in the back seat for a gun. Was that not what happened? <laughs> in the back. That's not what happened. Yeah, that's not what happened. <laughs> oh my God. Come on. Womp, womp. Bronny, Bronny and Bryce signed with Clutch in 2022 while he brought while Bronny was still in high school. You yo, if you think Rich Paul, based off of your story, because you are a Pixar animator, creator, oh, storyteller boy. You telling me that Rich Paul gets a call. Yo, I just want you to keep this between me. And you, Uncle Rich. Never did I say that. Never did I say that. <laughs> Never did I say that. I didn't say nothing like that. I didn't say he said keep it between them two. I didn't say he told them in secret. I didn't say nothing like that. Uh, I didn't even call them. Then he say, be rich, Paul. Be rich, Paul. Yo, hey. Bronny, what's going on, man? Uh, Uncle Rich. Oh, geez. Uh, I got a problem, Uncle Rich. What's wrong? That's like Morty. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> now don't 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 tell Pop. Don't tell you promise you won't tell Pop Uncle Rich. Yeah, yeah, mm, Ronnie, I, I, I don't really, I don't, I don't really care, Ronnie. I'm not gonna tell him. I'm not gonna tell him, Ronnie. Go ahead, Ronnie. Uh, oh, geez, Uncle Rich. Well, I, I, I'm thinking about going to another school, Uncle Rich. Oh, Ronnie, that Ronnie here, that might piss off LeBron, Ronnie. You see, you see, Ronnie, declare that's a big deal, Ronnie. To do without your father, you sure you don't want to talk to your father, now, Ronnie? Now, now, I know you guys have this plan for me to, you know, declare for the draft and then with pick number 32 in the second round, you know, I'll go to the LA Lakers, Uncle Rich, but I just I just don't think I'm ready, Uncle Rich. I can't do it, Uncle Rich. Mm, Ronnie, okay, well, first things first, Ronnie. I, I'll keep it a secret, Ronnie. He doesn't need to know. Fuck LeBron. Uh, 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 <laughs> thanks, Uncle Rich. Thanks. Come on, bro. You think that's what happened? Stop it! <laughs> I was told Dag, though, I'm on freaking side. Damo the Rich Paul uh, pillow talk to Adele too. At this point, <laughs> let me. <laughs> oh, you, um, 